Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Kel Mike with TheEasiestBusiness.com and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, vinyl wall covering. Uh, last video I did was on how to figure out your price per square foot uh, cost when you're painting. I went over a few different methods to do that, but today uh, on commercial jobs, you're going to run into a lot of vinyl wall covering. So today I'm going to talk with you guys about how to figure out your price uh, to, to, to hang vinyl wall covering uh, and to be profitable in doing so. There may be other ways to do this. I'm not, you know, one who claims I know everything, but I will say this is the method I've used for years. I've always been uh, profitable in doing so. So um, I've, I've kind of broken this down into steps. You have step one, step two, step three, pretty self-explanatory stuff. Um, we're just going to hit it fast. You can pause it. You can come back and watch it. Uh, later if you need to reference this again, you can ask me a question in the comments anything like that and I'd be happy to answer you So the first things you need to know when you get your drawings to do the bid you need to know what type of wall covering it is Is it type 1 type 2 type 3? Um, so you even have like wood backed wall covering uh, You have digital wall covering where they print out like a graphic. Uh, that's a whole different topic I, This is mainly going to cover uh, type 1 and type 2. So this is going to be type 1 slash Two. That's what this is going to be referencing. Um, you're going to need to know what type it is. The drawings will tell you, uh, or either the specification section, uh, what manufacturer it is, MDC, Wolf Gordon, etc. The drawings will also tell you that. Um, and then everything down here, price per yard, bolt size, and cut charge, uh, those are things you'll find out from the manufacturers themselves. So if I call Wolf Gordon, and it's a Wolf Gordon uh, Type 2 vinyl wall covering, um, they'll tell me. I'll give them the code, uh, like the like the pattern code, and they'll tell me, okay, this is twenty five dollars uh, a yard or whatever, and then they'll tell me the standard bolt size is fifteen yards, the standard bolt size is thirty yards, uh, and they'll say anything under thirty yards, uh, they'll give what, what's called a cut charge, two dollars a yard, four dollars a yard. If you order less than their minimum, uh, then that's when you get a cut charge, and so you'll have to figure out all this stuff before we can kind of figure out step two. Once you've figured out all that, uh, we're going to move to step two. So you need to know what walls it's going on and the square footage that the pattern is going on. So, so if you have a thousand uh, square foot of walls that this one wall covering is going to, you need to know that. And then you need to figure out what you want to add for waste. We always added 25% for waste. So let's say I have a thousand square feet. I have a thousand square feet. I multiply that number by 125, 1.25. Now I have 1,250 square feet that I need to calculate uh, wall covering for because when you hang wall covering in the paint world, uh, you're going to have waste because you're going to have to cut. A lot of times they'll want the patterns to match. You're going to have to cut it very specifically. Sometimes they don't have to have the patterns matching. It's just random hang. But either way, when you when you cut product and you hang product, corners, windows, doors, you're going to have waste. So we always added 25% to cover that. Um, you're going to need to know your install rate uh, plus or minus your adhesive. This is for people who want to sub out the work uh, to like a crew. So you can call a local uh, vinyl wall covering crew and they'll tell you what their price is per square foot or per square yard. Um, so you gotta figure out what that install rate is and usually that'll include your adhesive. So they'll, they'll say, you know, we'll provide glue and labor for this much money per square foot. And so that's what I'm talking about with this formula. This, this formula only works if you're subbing out your work and you know uh, that you don't have to calculate adhesive. You can go to my other video, how to calculate um, like your per square foot cost and you can reference that and you can add your adhesive uh, onto this formula if you really needed to but i've never done it that way so um, then you want to calculate um, anything for handling and storage for example i did a 15-story hotel one time they couldn't hold the vinyl wall covering uh, on site so i literally had to add money in for handling and storage um, in the shop because it was 15 stories. I mean, you're talking hundreds and hundreds of bolts um, of wall covering. And so I had to calculate, you know, just an arbitrary number for keeping it, keeping space in the shop and then transporting it to and from the job site. So you want to be aware of that depending on um, whether you can hold the material inside or not and whether you want to charge for that or not. So that's something you're, these things are something you're going to have to figure out kind of what you want to do. Um, and then once you get all that information, we can move to uh, the third step. So this is our formula here. 
this this square foot SF stands for square foot this is the wall square foot um, so you want to calculate your pattern figure out what walls your pattern goes on on the drawings and let's say it's a thousand square feet so let's say following this formula you have thousand square feet of walls I hope you can see this then you're going to want to multiply that by 1.25 so that's 1250. So you have 1,250 square foot of walls. That includes your waste, right? That's what we just did up here. Then you wanna divide that number by 12 to convert it to yards. So 1,250, pull out my calculator again. There it is, divided by 12 is 104. We'll go ahead and round up 0.16, so 105. So it's 100. Five YDS or yards. So 105 yards is how much I need um, when it comes to, to bolts. So I need 105 yards, not, not bolts rather, but 105 yards. Um, you need to refer back to the, to the manufacturer's bolt size for that pattern that we're referencing. And then you'll go, okay, let's say they, they have 30 yard bolts, right? So 105 they make 30 yard bolts, divide your yards by three, or, or rather, excuse me, I'm gonna confuse you guys. 105, divide your yards by 30, because that's, and this will tell you how many bolts you need. So you need 3.5 bolts. Um, in my opinion, you might as well go ahead and order four bolts um, just to have even more waste. So four bolts times 30 yards, you're gonna need to order uh, 120 yards uh, of total 120 yards total uh, of wall covering, which will give you four bolts. And then this is gonna be your installation. So your installation is gonna be your square foot um, because installation uh, is gonna be exact, right? You know exactly how much square footage you need uh, when you find your wall square footage. You, you wouldn't add waste to your installation footage because that doesn't make sense. You're still only putting it on a thousand square foot of walls. You don't need to charge for 1250. So you would take a thousand times, and this is our base number, 85 cents a square foot. This is like what we paid the installers. So we would typically mark this installation. Sorry, my board's not anchored down very well. We, we, would, we would typically mark this 85 cents a square foot from what they have, uh, for what they charge us rather, to like a dollar or a dollar 15. Let's say it's like a dollar fifteen. That's what our markup on installation would be. Um, we would go here, thousand, thousand bucks. I mean, a thousand square feet times one point one five, and it'd be eleven $1 hundred and fifty dollars. Would be just installation. So that's just installation, right? That's what that is. Then you got your one hundred and twenty yards. That's what you need to order from the manufacturer. We would come over here. And then this final total for material, material, 120 yards. Let's say the manufacturer told you it was $25 a yard. That's what you, that's what's gonna be your cost. This is when you decide what you wanna mark up. Um, we would typically do 25% on wall covering. So we take that 25 times 1.25, that'd be 31.25. We just round to the next dollar amount, $32 a yard. And then we would multiply that by the number of yards needed, 120. That's $3,840, $840 for material, what we would charge, and then what we would charge for, uh, you know, your labor and installation. So we would add that together, 1150, that's 4990. So our total down here, Sorry, I'm, I need a bigger whiteboard. 49.90 would be the total labor material plus markup, profit, all that stuff uh, for us to hang 1,000 square feet uh, of wall covering on this job. That's, that's what we would charge. So there's a very simple uh, method I say simple because it can get confusing. When you start converting numbers and from yards to square foot, you have to be really careful because it can be really easy to get confused. Um, and a lot of times you'll be talking about square foot when you mean yards, you'll be talking about yards when you mean square foot. So um, you gotta really be careful on these numbers and you gotta really 
practice and know what you're doing. Double check yourself, triple check yourself. Make sure you're getting all this information correctly. Um, it gets really confusing when you have 15, 20, excuse me, 30 patterns on a job. Make sure you're just taking good notes and you're pulling correct measurements uh, from the plans. But uh, that's basically it for today. Um, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. If you do it a different way, let me know. I'm pretty interested. This is the only way I've ever done it. Um, like I said, I've always been profitable doing it this way. Um, but if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please let me know. Um, I'm thinking about holding a blueprint class. If you guys would be interested in that, let me know as well. I think I'm going to hold an online how to read blueprints class because I get a, a lot of questions from a lot of people on my personal uh, socials. Uh, they don't know how to read drawings uh, for paint finishes and they're residential painters and they want to break into the commercial world. Um, so I'd like to hold a class and print out a construction size uh, set of drawings and, and, and do like a live stream Q&A at the end and just teach everybody my process how to build a commercial job because I've been doing this for uh, what, four years now and I've done what 15 million in sales um, just base contracts not change orders I've done you know everything from ten thousand dollar it's worth of work to five hundred thousand a million dollars worth of work on a single job so um, like I said if you guys have any questions comments or concerns just let me know and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend